good, that's all I need. No way, I'm not lending you money. Pay you back. It's just till the end of the week, go on. All right. What do you want it for anyway? Let's spend it on at school. I'm not going to school. Hey, you two. Shift. You're going to be late. Are you off your head? It's all right for you. I hate school. It's so boring. All right, and it's dead interesting around here. But you can't bunk off. Why not? Because Mum will kill you if she finds out. Well, she's not going to find out, is she, as long as you keep your gob shut? I know I've only been here a few days. Exactly. Come on, Chris. Liam's entitled to same pay as the rest of the lads. Not until he's finished his probation. And when's that going to be? When I say so. Well, look, can't you at least give me one of the long-distance runs? Give us a chance to work up some overtime. No. Look, if you want to discuss rotors, ask Sean. He's the one who makes decisions about them. Hi. What are you doing here? Good morning to you, too. Well, what is it? I'm due at the bank, so unless it's urgent... I just thought I'd see how things are going. Really? Oh, I see. She's not due back till later this evening. So you're wasting your time here. Who? Who? Frankie. I'm not here to see Frankie. I'm just checking on my investment. You know what I don't understand? If you're missing her so much, how come you got me to send her to Eastern Europe? I didn't. It was your idea to send her away. Yeah, well, sometimes I wonder. Oh, come on, you mentioned it first. All that business about Pete being needed here. That was you, not me. Still, absence makes the heart grow fonder. I said no. Oh, all I want is a lift to Hutton. You should be at school. Right, like you've never bunked off. Yeah, well, if I did it, we were people my own age. Come on, school's a flipping waste of time. If you take me with you, it'll be a laugh. Oh, no. You're too young. I'm old enough to be your dad. I wish we were my dad. Yeah, well, I'm not your dad. I'm your next door neighbour. Right? So go on, clear off. Find someone your own age to mind her. I've got to get a move on. Here, that's all I've got. Oh, but... Look, I am not giving you money just to go drinking. I'm going shopping in Otten, that's all. I promise you, I'll not go near the pub. Mm. Butch, lend a tenner. Dad, you're not to be taking Bell down the boozer. I'm not. Take it at Bookies. Dad, look, I've had a chip. Three o'clock, it's a cert. <laughs> Come on, cough up. Split the winnings. Good lad. Not a word to lease your mind. It's between you and me. Well, the refit's going to take a few days, possibly even weeks, with a bit of luck. So what should I do? Same as me, enjoy the view. And all these builders around, it gets you thinking, I mean. <laughs> oh, you mean? Yeah. You don't have to worry, Mrs Windsor. I've got Butch for that. Oh, exactly. He's very good around the house, you know. Odd jobs and that. You haven't got a clue, have you? You know, it makes me realise what I'm missing. It gets very lonely, you know, being on your own. You've got Kelly and Scott. Not quite the same thing, believe me. Custard cream, Simon. No, oh, thanks. Story of my life. I can't even get them to take me biscuits. Passed its sell-by date like everything else around here. It's just 30th of November here. I need an holiday. You're going to have to find someone to cover. We can't afford it. This is Mr Jackson to see you. All right, Craig. What can I do for you? You flaming scumbag. <sighs> you what? How long have I known you? I thought we were mates. We are. What the hell's all this about? Don't give me that. You knew I was going to bring it round anyway. Ask you out for a pint, see how Angie and the kids are doing. I don't think I'll be bothering now. Craig, I honestly don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about sending Guy the Gorilla here round to threaten me. Break a few legs unless I paid you. You what? I had no choice. I bet you didn't. I knew Chris Tate was an evil little pillock, but you... I thought better of you. Here. That's your money. And that's your contract. You know where you can shove it. I've finished with you. There we are. Right. That's it. Hey, job done. 
Now for a bit of fun, eh? Hey. Hello, Zach. Hey. What the heck are you doing here? I thought I'd go shopping, see there's nothing else to do. Well, Ollie, I thought I'd told you, you can't keep following me about. What do you want me to do? I don't care. Go home, go to school, just leave me alone. All right. Where's the best place to hitch? You what? I ain't got any money to get home. Right. Here's your bus fare. Great. Just enough to get me to Leeds. Hey, you can't go doing that. If you're going to leave me in this dump, what do you expect? Right. That's it. Here. Now you get in that van and wait there. No way! Well, it's either that or I phone the school. Right. Now, uh, I'm uh, just nipping in here to see a friend. Oh, yeah, the dead cert at three o'clock. Oh, can't I call him? No. Oh, it's illegal. Oh, don't start. I get enough of that from Mum. Your mother? What the heck's she gonna say? Same as Lisa, probably, if she knew what you were up to. Don't worry, I won't tell if you won't. Why me? Look, just get in that van and don't move. Yeah? And if you see a cop cat, duck. Yeah? Oh, believe me. It's a waste of time trying to get money out of Chris Tate. I don't know why. Not as if he's short of a bubble, too. Mm. Still, there are compensations for living around here. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. In fact, I was wondering if you fancy going out for a drink sometime. Oh, uh, I don't know. Look, that's OK, though. Just forget I ever said anything. Oh, no, it's not you. I've just had a bit of bad luck with blokes lately. A few bad decisions and you start to think you're better off without them. Pity. I could help restore your faith in men, given a chance. Oh. Zoe arranged for Frankie to go away? Maybe. Look, I'm not sure. All I heard Chris say was Zoe had wanted her out of there. I bet she did. I thought... I mean, if you think about it, it's a good sign. What do you mean? Maybe Zoe wanted to put a bit of distance between her and Frankie. No, nah, she wanted to put a bit of distance between me and Frankie, more like. She knew we wanted to spend some time together, sort things out. Come on, send them Frankie all the way to Eastern Europe. It's a bit extreme. Zoe's been wanting to split us up for months. She'd do anything. <sighs> Scheming little cow. Where are you going? I'm going to ring Frankie. Tell her exactly who it was sent her away. Look, look, Maggie, maybe I've got the wrong end of the stick. I mean, it's not like Zoe to do something like that. You want to bet? Look, thanks for telling me, Pete. You're a mate. He said what to Sean? Well, the words evil and pillock were mentioned. <laughs> Actually, I think you were referring to you. Look, I told you, I've had enough. I'm doing no more debt collecting. Don't tell me Mr. Jackson frightened you. No, I frightened myself. I never felt more ashamed. You knew we were going to pay up any road. Yeah, that's what they all say. How would you know? You didn't have to do it. And neither will I anymore. It was a miserable thing to do and you know it. I felt... dirty. But that's what you're here for. To do my dirty work. You really don't care, do you? Nope. Where the hell have you been? I've been to see the bank manager. He's very pleased with me. Well, I'm not. I want a word with you. These three now have drawn away from the rest, headed by Stola March. Come on. Tagate and Veshkalady together as they come to the final half bell. Nothing between Some the two. Tagate, they're with the advantage. As they near the line, and Tagate is now finding extra and he's got to win this one. Tagate and Lindsay Chan. Bad day. Ah, oh, it'll get worse when the wife finds out. Last of the family allowance. Had a dead shirt on the next one and all. Oh, no. That's all I need. What are you doing in here? Sorry, Dad. Only, I know we spent most of your money on my medicine. <coughs> so, I want you to have this. So, thank you for being such a great dad. I can't take that. Please, I know Mum would think you deserve it if she knew what you'd done for me. Thanks a lot, Chiny Tim. Well, the subject's some good at drama. I'll give you 10% cut if we win. Oh. What the hell were you doing? I was doing business. You didn't have to send Terry round. If it was only money, you should have spoken to me. Why? You weren't going to do anything about it, were He's you? He's a mate. I could have sorted it. 
Look, you can't afford to be sentimental. This is business. Our business. Yours, you mean. Let's face it, Chris. You've never wanted me as a partner anyway. You certainly don't treat me like one. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Just because I'm all in the ways of getting back For goodness all... sake, don't be so soft. Oh, you think that's hard? Sending Terry round to do your dirty work for you? And for the sake of what? A couple of grand? Oh, you're a regular gangster, aren't you, Chris? Yeah, I'm dead frightened of you. Good, because like I said, this is purely about business. No, it's not. It's about you. You and your sad little insecurities. You can't help it, can you? You feel that like threatened by everybody. You have to do people down because it makes you feel better. I pity you. Well, the feeling's mutual. At least I don't hang around waiting for my wife to tell me what to do. You leave Angie out of this. Oh, it's a touchy subject, is it? Oh, it must be difficult living with someone more macho than you. You know, Chris, anybody else, I'd break their neck. <laughs> you, you're not worth the bother. Then why are you bothering? Because you need to get to know me, Chris. <laughs> this is me being friendly. <laughs> I am serious. You tell me what's going on, we'll get along just fine. You don't, I will break your neck. Sean, we're getting on okay. Well, we are. It's just... What? Oh, it's nothing. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it's a partnership. I'm not sure he feels the same way. I know how you feel. <sighs> You're wasting your time. Am I? Frankie, she is obviously not interested. If she is, she's after your money. And apart from all that... What? Well, you're too good for her. Oh, come on. You could have any... any woman you wanted. I don't know why you're chasing after her. Does it occur to you I might like her? Why? I don't. For once in my life, Chris, I'm thinking about what I want. Maybe that's being selfish. But to be honest with you, I've spent a lifetime trying to do the right thing. It's got me absolutely nowhere. You try to please everyone, you end up pleasing no one. Please spoil yourself. I'd better go and do it the Sugdens. I just want to be happy. What's wrong with that? Zoe. If she makes you happy, then I guess. If you're interested, Frankie rang in this morning. She should be back here by about six. Thanks. See you later. With a bit of luck, Frankie will have brought me back some Polish vodka. Where does you pay her? I doubt it. <laughs> Mark. Hmm? Did Ollie have games this afternoon? Er, uh, yeah, I think so. Do it in her knickers, did she? You what? Only have one PE kit here, unused. That's all I need. What? Your flipping daughter, she's been skiving again. Leave it when we won. I've been dying to get these. And 20%. I thought you said 10. Yeah, it's hush money. Come on, better get back. My mum will be wondering where I am. Yeah, you're right. Hey, it's been a good day, though. I told you that horse were a cert. I should listen to you more often. Does that mean you're going to stop bothering me, then? Zach? I mean it. Come on, we had a laugh, didn't we? Yeah, but... You don't want to be hanging around with an old codger like me. I do. You're my role model. You know, sometimes you remind me of our Tina. Who? Oh, uh, my daughter. Things she used to get up to. She were well hard, frightened the no one. Just like your mother. Yeah, we had some fun, me and her. See, you like me, really. You are. If I remind you of your favourite daughter. No, I never said you were my favourite. You didn't have to. Come on, it's just the one day. Sean, it's breaking the law, I'll flip him murder her. Well, that won't stop Ollie. She's come back as the living dead. Sorry, I'm late. 
Games tire you out, did it? Have to stop and have a rest, or were you just upset at getting teased? What? What with having to do PE in your underwear? I didn't. I borrowed a kit. Right. Borrowed these and all, did you? Where the hell did you get the money from for these? All right. Bad enough skag and without going nicking as well. I wasn't nicking, I swear. Where did you get the money from then? I won it. You what? On a horse. Into the bookies. Yeah? How much did you get? Came in at ten to one. <laughs> I don't believe this. Well, at least she won. Sean! How the heck did you get into the bookies? What idiot took you in there? All right. Don't tell me it was Zach Dingle, won it? Hi. What are you doing here? Where's Frankie? She's in Germany. We said she was due back this evening. No, she was. I'll tell you what, you explain. You seem to know what's going on, unlike me. I rang her up earlier today and... And, well, she got a bit upset when I told her about... About you setting me up to send her away because she and Maggie needed time together. Got that right, haven't I? I didn't say anything. Oh, forget I... the denials and stop playing games. You're not very good at it. And anyway, we've got more important things to worry about. What do you mean? Well, thanks to you, poor Frankie had to stop and calm herself down with several beers. She got arrested at the border about two hours ago for drunk driving. They've locked her up. Oh, these are lovely, Zach. Must have cost a fortune. Oh, I uh, got them off the market. We're not in! No. Hello, love. What can we do If you ever, ever go near my daughter again... Uh, Angie, I can explain. What's going on? Oh, didn't he tell you? He spent the day with my daughter, gambling. You do know it's illegal, don't you, letting kids place bets? I could have you put away for this. Believe me, I'm tempted. Actually, I don't think you can put him away at all, Sergeant Reynolds. Not if it's a first offence. Do you want a bet? <laughs> Silly question. Of course you do. Taking a kid into a book is. I didn't take Ollie. <laughs> she invited herself. It's true. I, I told her she had to go home, but she just wouldn't listen. Well, you know what she's like? She's following me around all day. I just couldn't get rid of her. Believe me, I tried. Are you seriously trying to blame this on Ollie? If it wasn't for me, she would have itched it home from Otten. You know, I've met some families. In my job, you get used to it. People who don't give a damn. But you lot, look at you. I don't know how you live with yourselves. She is just a kid. Oh, so you've finally realised, have you? What? Ollie spends hours up here and you've not even noticed. If she doesn't want to be at home, there must be a reason. She was supposed to be at school. Oh, well, that's your responsibility, not mine. Not my husband's. If you ask me, you were lucky that Zach found her. And took her gambling. He could have left her on the streets. Kids need love. Attention, not a set of rules governed by some police code. How dare you? You're the one that's out of order, lady. Coming into my home, insulting my family. It's not my husband's fault if you can't control your kids. You know, I thought you had more sense. But you're just as bad as the rest of them. Oh, get out! I'm warning you. You keep your husband away from my daughter. All I know is I've lost one driver and a valuable lorry. You can't seriously blame me for this. Oh, come off it, Zoe. It is blindingly obvious what you've been up to. You don't believe her. She'd say anything. She can't stand me. Too right. And the feeling's mutual. Look, I don't appreciate being used in your stupid games. Thanks to you, I've got to send someone over to Germany to rescue one of my lorries. Well, what about Frankie? Oh, I wouldn't worry about her. You can't just leave her there. She's no money. Well, at least why are the wages she's owed? Look, she can get her wages when I get my lorry. You bail her out. You're a girlfriend. I haven't got that sort of money. Well, you can't expect Zoe to just because she a fancies... A few hundred quid. That's all she needs. You know, Trisha, if you did your hair more like mine, it'd be lovely. More sophisticated. You mean more mature? I like my hair as it is. I'm not changing my hair. Who does she thinks she is? The boss. At least you don't work for the Tates. Mm, Zoe's all right. Not my cup of tea. Trisha! Now what? Can I help you? No. I mean, can I help you? Not now what? 
You know, seeing as we're getting sorted, perhaps we should throw in elocution lessons for you and all. It's hard. Stuck at home on your own, with nobody to talk to. Well, I've got Marlon and Terry. Exactly. You know, you're always welcome round at our place. I tell you what, why don't you come over for Sunday lunch sometime? That's very kind of you, Mrs Windsor. Oh, come on, you're practically one of the family. Less of the Mrs Windsor. Yeah, just call her mum. Just try it. Around the rugged rocks. No. Honestly, it worked wonders. You'd be amazed at the difference it makes in the way people treat you. Take me. I wish somebody would. She's a bit of a worry. But, Tricia, um, word of warning, she's not exactly a one-man woman. Don't bother me. Oh, I get it. You were an herbal once. Yeah. So, who are the available women around here, then? Well, uh, so it takes best looking one, but she's not exactly interested in uh, the likes of you and me. Well, she's anything like her brother. Oh, Zoe? Nah, complete opposite. She ain't got a bad bone in her body. It's hard to believe that she's related to Chris. You're insane. It's a complete waste of money. Money isn't everything. If I pay this to you, you have enough in your joint account to get her home? Yeah. Right. Look, when Frankie gets back, we'll talk, sort things out. I guess what I'm trying to say is... I'm sorry about everything. Don't be. Frankie were right about you. She said you'd pay up. Right, I better ring her, let her know. Actually, would you mind? I, I just want to check something. No, it's true. I was going to spend £500 to bail out a scheming little cow. Well, I'm sorry. I don't pay up. Not for anyone. But Frankie only meant... No, I know exactly what Frankie meant. You think I'm that desperate that I'd buy her? I try really hard to lead a normal life, to forget about my money. Only I can't because none of you ever forget it. You think it makes me different from you. Well, you know, you're right. Just the thought of it turns the nicest people into complete cows. You think it's a blessing having this amount of money. Sometimes it feels like a curse. Sorry. No, you can tell Frankie. I don't want to see her. I don't want to hear from her. As far as I'm concerned, she doesn't exist. Congratulations, I couldn't have put it better myself. Spoken like a true tate, if I may say so. Oh, go to hell! <laughs> <laughs>